Welcome back to Studio Chatter. We have been reading our book club selection, Before We Were Yours. Let's get into it. Oh, it's so exciting. Before We Were Yours yes. by oh. Lisa Wingate. Yes. I had never read her before. Mm-hmm. No. Beautiful storyteller. Yes. Mm-hmm. She's like masterfully. Ooh, it I'd it love was to read good. more of her books now. Yeah. I, today, I was like Googling, what else has she written? Mm-hmm. She does a good job. Mm, very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. So let's let's describe to our viewers oh, kind of like goodness. the theme of the book. Back in so 1939 like, yeah. right. in and Tennessee. There's two and then flashback. now. Oh. I like stories like that. Yeah. Where you're like going back in time, but Mental. here, and you're mm-hmm. kind of meshing the two worlds it's together. And it's different voices, right? Because the, the second voice, the old part Mm -hmm. they're in Tennessee Mm -hmm. so it's that southern accent and then you have the other side so did you audio book I did. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because when you're saying voices, yeah, I'm you like, guys are oh. saying like, what? No, no, I did too. So okay. I, I knew the voices that you were talking yeah. about, and, and the narrator was that. fabulous as well. Yeah. So okay. I, I, I'd like to listen to them as well. I have to do it that way, or I would never get anything Any books done. done. Yes, yeah. that's but, right. Um, yes, yeah. to go back and forth between the pieces of history and then yep. into current day, mm-hmm. and I think they did a very good job to to do the transitions as well, right. but to give a bit of the history and then to bring it to current day. But go ahead and, and say what you were going to say about. So I, I'll just, I'll take you back to the history okay. part of 1939. I'll break out the treats. Ooh, you oh, you brought treats for book, well, book club. Yes. Oh my yeah, well, goodness. Pete actually brought the treats. <laughs> Pete always brings oh. the new flavor of the month. Oreo. Oreo. Yeah, just in, cake? just in time for spring. Yes. That's right. You Sorry, we digress. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so history. Fantastic. So it's um, back in 1939 in Memphis, Tennessee, and the 12 year old. Mm-hmm. And she's the oldest of his siblings. They're like gypsies yeah. out in the, on the what, a little river boat. Boats, yeah. And they're kidnapped and taken to an orphanage. Well, but, well how did? Oh, yes, yes. But the orphanage in. is not a nice orphanage. No. They're basically kidnapping children to then sell mm-hmm. to rich white people. Mm-hmm. And how they do that is disgusting. It yeah. is heartbreaking. And this is a real orphanage. This really happened in. Our American history. Mm-hmm. Had you guys ever heard of it? No, I hadn't. I think you hear of rumblings of, of things going on like this, but you don't really, I guess, believe it. Mm-hmm. But because you really think, like, how could some of these things happen and get away with it mm-hmm. by these influential people? That's the part that really got me. Politicians, rich people, actors, actors. Mm-hmm. you know, is, people are yeah. out there and think, and for them to think it's okay. Well, the interesting part, part, I think, is that the the problems, common problems have always gone on. So I think we're just in a modern society now where we talk about the problems. So the woman that was never able to have children of her own um, or that maybe that she did, Mm -hmm. you know, had many miscarriages, that those same fertility problems existed then Mm -hmm. that exist now. It just... People, we talk about we, it, we now. Talk about it mm, now. That's a good point. Because yeah. so, back then it was more hush hush, very hush. Even if you were pregnant, they would keep you more. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't want to be out in your condition. Mm-hmm. Like you wouldn't even want to be in public for the. So the exactly. desperation to have a child and the extreme means that they would go to and and the to way just produce a child. Mm-hmm. Okay, but do you think from. the people? I'm sure some of them knew, but do you mm-hmm. think all of them knew? The way the orphanage was getting the children. Oh, absolutely not. I don't think they knew that. I think that they thought that they were real orphans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they knew. But the way they did it, how they signed Mm -hmm. off, you know, and the woman, Mm because then I thought about how that works, you know, how you've just had a child, you're delirious, you know, the last thing you care about is Mm -hmm. signing anything. Signing something. And I remember my first child signing up for having hepatitis. A and B, or whatever, you know, the, the injections. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I even read it. I right? just like, you know, you have that trust. Oh, yeah, let me sign. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? I think many times when you're you don't know in, you're in a hospital and, yeah. and you're signing for a way. And, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. you don't know what you're signing. No. And, you know, your husband's there. He's all, you know, what? Yeah. <laughs> sign it, baby. Yeah. Just sign it. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was right. so heartbreaking. Of there Wasn't there a father that actually came to the orphanage wanting his kids? Yes. yes. Oh, my my gosh, that was heartbreaking. Yeah. And he couldn't get his own kids back. He couldn't. And the kids could hear. Mm-hmm. Oh my Can you imagine that? 
And I just think, oh, the, the abuse kids have gone through. Oh, yeah. to go through. And when yeah. you, you know, you hear something like this, what's happening today? Mm-hmm. Yeah. similar to that so it started in 1939 but then you and i kind of discussed then there's that story or timeline of today mm-hmm. and she oh what, what was her name avery avery, avery. Mm-hmm. so she yeah. was born into wealth and privilege mm-hmm. um, her dad lawyer. was a senator mm-hmm. she's, a she's, lawyer. she's a lawyer she has a fiance they're planning a big wedding, wedding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and then that's where it takes in where her history and her well, she's looking for are, her grandmother's. There's something to do with, with the, the bracelet. Yeah. Anyway, so it just ties <laughs> together. So. Oh, the way yeah. that it was connected yeah, in the end was, that was so really beautiful. Yeah. And I, I love, love, love. I mean, so you're you're so into that part of the story. Yeah. And you're like, how is all of that going to be tied together? Right. And then there's that wee bit of that love story that yeah. kind of keeps you hanging <laughs> yeah. too to say, oh, what's she going to do about that? Like, and is it, she going like, to stay with him out of obligation? Or are they, is she going to go with with new guy and and would they really be good together yeah. mm-hmm. and right. would she tick off her family or uh-huh. how would how would they treat her so well I, was... I i hopped online today and came up with some book club questions okay, <laughs> okay. so, okay. Since some we're official questions. book club yeah. and hotel the one skip. i liked oh, yeah. it says that this Cute. book touches on several themes including bonds of family the power of family secrets mm-hmm. the way the past influences the present Political corruption, mm-hmm. the resiliency of children, dementia, yeah. and oh, elder totally. care. Was there one theme that you were particularly drawn to and why? Mm. I think the one that stuck out to me is like the, pa- the, the power of family secrets. Because mm-hmm. I think I shared with you guys in one of our very first episodes that I found out at eight years old that my dad wasn't my biological dad. Mm-hmm. So family secrets has always been like this theme to me. Like, why why would you keep that a secret? Mm-hmm. So it just, I think I can resonate with stories like, why keep secrets? Mm-hmm. Why is right. it to protect? Is it your own secure insecurities? Mm-hmm. Are you trying Being to... shamed. Maybe, shame? You know, yeah. Are you trying to hide something? Mm-hmm. Like... To me, if if you're keeping a secret, it's because there's something wrong. But that's probably not always the case. It's probably also to protect at times. Mm -hmm. I would say that it's probably more so to protect the children. They think they're protecting the children. But again, I think it's a change with the times too. Because you see now the choice with an open door... Mm -hmm. Adoption. adoption now mm-hmm. that that choice is given to the birth mom mm, I like would that. you rather just not have the you know yeah. the child know or would you know and, and to both or would you like to have have this open door relationship where you know both sides know mm-hmm. and everybody is kind of yeah. okay with it I have a really uh, go on, yeah no I, I just think it's some of it is just a, a coming uh, with the times I agree mm-hmm. I like that I have a really good friend that she's Caucasian but has adopted three Afro-American kids mm-hmm. and she's in um, close connection with the parent the mm-hmm. mother and she even flies out to see the mother so the children can still be connected to the mother. Can you imagine that? I was like, really? Those are some really yeah. strong family bonds. Mm-hmm. Really strong. And I'm just, I was like, wow. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. And I think, I think the resilience of children too. I, I oh. mean... I mean, absolutely incredible. And and even think about the last book we read, The Educated. Mm. Think about how resilient she was to overcome Mm. just everything that she saw and that she was exposed to and was even to step Mm. away from that, go get herself completely educated. Move on, excel. but But still craved that family acceptance, even in even the end. Even though they were so yeah. dysfunctional yeah. and couldn't mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. So, it, I mean, who knows? And, it, and all of us are so resilient. Mm-hmm. We all have a story and our mm-hmm. lives haven't been easy, but somehow we get through it. Get all through. of us. Mm-hmm. What else can you do? I loved what the girl said um, in the past where she said, you know, they can they can be mean or whatever to me, but what's in my mind they can't control. They can control me mm. in, in the, you know, outwardly, in their, yeah. but in my mind, they can't control that. They can't stop me thinking what I want to think. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, because she kept looking, you know, searching for the river. Yeah. And I yeah. just thought, oh, 
my gosh. True. That's just is crazy. Yeah. Do you guys have any good questions? Oh, these are really good. Oh yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I don't I know. Yeah. Carrot um, cake Oreos. Oh gosh. There's they're good, right? I don't know if I like it. Oh, oh no. I do like it. I want it was my normal that. Oreo filling. I don't crave <laughs> Diet Coke very often. But this would be the one time you that you want a Diet Coke? I, yes, the yeah. aftertaste needs like that crisp little bit of Diet, Diet Coke, Coke to, to <laughs> wash funny. it down. But um, no, these are very good questions. But I, I do also love the, the last part to these questions, touching on the elderly care. Um, I just, I love that they brought the two sisters back together in mm. the end too, just because they were kind of able to live out their final stages just together, together yeah, and as yeah. sisters and I mean so I, I think we often comment too like the older you get the less you care you know mm. just the older you get you just kind of they blur thing you blur things yeah, you just kind yeah. of have less care and good for them like yeah. they <laughs> they, they just, just got to be who they were yeah, and, and awesome. be together so that yeah I did really love good. that yeah a very very good pick yes Good. That was awesome. So in what ways do you think the attitudes toward adoption and foster care have mm. changed in this country? Oh, we just talked about that, didn't we, really? Mm -hmm. That open door. And and then the foster care reminded me of Rachel Hollis and her experience. Oh. Oh, mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. just wondering about that and just thinking, oh, would I ever? But that was a trail. Yeah. yeah. That was, yeah. yeah. So anyway, that was, yeah, that was a really good, um, that was a good book. Well done. Huh? Okay. Are we going to suggest one? Before yours. I think yes. you, think you, yes. you have, a, you have one, don't you? Okay, I do have one with my mask in here. Hmm? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love Brene Brown. She is... Um, so you've read her before. I have read her before, okay. yes. I have read... She's on TED Talk, and it's like 34 million viewers or something. Mm -hmm. and I a lot just, about her. She knows her stuff, yeah. And so her first one, I think, was something to do with um, vulnerability how we're all vulnerable in our own way but we try to you know be really tough and she's all just about being ourselves and being present for whoever needs us at a certain time and so this is a new one it's just come out dare to lead by brene brown and so i'm kind of hmm. excited hey. I have not you always this. have a really good like self-motivation yeah. <laughs> she's like a deep deep thinker a deep thinker uh, just, i know Hey, yeah. Utopia, right? We'll reach you back. I'm, I'm more curious about leave. the placeholder, though. Let's see it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> when she opened the book, her placeholder <laughs> is a hill off gel mask for, for men, nonetheless. <laughs> and then so, she um, said that she likes the smell of it. So, okay, so let there me you smell go. it. Yeah. Charcoal. Well, it's, yeah, it's a charcoal mask. So. Can you smell it, really? I don't really. <laughs> but I you've done it. it before yeah well i usually do the you know there's um like a cucumber peel oh right but you went with the charcoal that's, that's, that's yeah. funny what do you use for your book <laughs> yeah. i love it that's awesome yeah that's anyway. awesome okay okay that'll so be a good one yeah. in a month good right yeah. okay yeah well there you go and there is more studio chat chatter coming stay with us <laughs> yeah so